Hey guys, it's Hilary and I'm back again with another video. Today, um, it's gonna be a bit of a different video because I did order some, basically it's gonna be about this hair care brand called Honey Hand, Honey Hand Made, or Honey Hand Made. So, I mean, if you know me, I always, I'm always like talking about them literally honey products are their black on brand but uh, all of that I had no issues with them until <clears throat> until this time that I ordered from them so I ordered like usually I order from them and it literally takes like not even like a week and a half uh, maybe two weeks tops to get here so I ordered this on January 8th and I didn't get it till like the second week of February. Did I? Hold on. I don't know. It was either, I think it was the second week of February. So I was upset. I did really let me tell you. So two weeks had passed by after I ordered my package, right? So I'm emailing them. Um, I'm messaging them. I'm not all. I'm emailing them. Literally, I'm having to send like two to three messages before they reply to me. And then I was, at that point, it was two weeks. And I ordered my products already two weeks ago. And then they were like, oh, I was asking for a refund because I'm like, oh, it's been two weeks. Like, um, at this point, I should have just bought something from the PX. Like, what the heck? But the PX barely ever has, like, stuff for, like, curly hair. So, and it's not that much to choose from. I mean, it is, like, we have a selection, but of the time it get ran through because there's so many people here that's looking for the same thing you know and you know, off base there's like literally nothing for us like literally there's nothing unless you go to like one of these beauty supply stores which are kind of expensive and they don't really be having that much stuff for us so i'm emailing them i emailed them and asked them for a refund and they reply saying that that um they reply saying that they're gonna um, get them get in touch with the shipment team or whatnot and get them to ship my product. So I'm hold on, I'm thinking, I'm like, hold on. I done paid for this already. And y'all haven't even processed my order. And it's been two weeks, not one week, but two weeks. Um, what are y'all doing? That don't make no sense. No sense at all. And I'm just sitting here like. You're gonna tell them to process my order. I'm like, no, I want a refund. And no response from that reply. And then I replied again. I was like, um, I would not, I, I just don't want the products anymore. I, I I was being very like polite. And I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't want the products anymore, nor do I need them anymore. I bought something else locally from where I am. And no reply again. So I emailed again. And then they finally replied. They're like, oh, now they're, now they're saying, oh, check the shipping the shipping number that we've sent you. Da, da, da. And I'm like, okay, I click on the shipping number and nothing's there. Literally nothing was there. So I'm emailing them back and forth. These people will not give me my money back for nothing. I'm not a dime and they will not try to, they will literally ignore what you're trying to ask for. You know? I'm like, why are you ignoring me? I said I wanted a refund. I said I didn't want the product before you even contacted the the shipping, the shipping, whatever, the shipping people in your company or whatever, which like this shouldn't even have to happen because my product should have been processed and shipped already. Like what the heck? It's been two weeks and you guys are still playing games. So, um... Um, after the two weeks have went by, another week went by, and I'm sitting here messaging them back and forth. They're constantly saying the same thing. Oh, we're so sorry for the wait. Um, check the shipping, the shipping number. The shipping number literally did not work. Like what the freak? It said nothing. It said it was stuck in um, where was it? In, in freaking Florida. It was in Florida. It stayed in Florida the entire time. It didn't even update and say it went to Chicago or it went to California, which Chicago is where the last place in the States it'll be before it leaves over here or California. So those two places. So I'm like, what the freak's going on? Like these people are so annoying. And I was really disappointed because I was raving about their products. I was like, it makes your hair so soft, like your curls be popping, which like the shampoo works so good and the, and the, the mousse cream works 
looks so good. The coil looks so good in your hair. Like I was like, wow, this is so good. It's black owned and it has minimal product, minimal ingredients in it. Like in ingredients that you can literally read and you know what it is. I was like, wow, this is so good. But now I'm just like, the customer service is so bad. And I literally paid like $50 for all of this stuff that's in here. So I'm on 12, I'm upset and I'm calling them. Literally no one answers the phone. It just goes to like a freaking voicemail where you leave your where you leave your name and your order number and stuff. I left my name and my order number and nobody called me back. Nobody emailed me back, nothing. So I'm just like, at this point I'm done with y'all. Like, I, I love to support black businesses, but if you don't have your shipment and your customer service together, I'm sorry, but I'm not spending my money there. I'm just not dealing with it. Like, I'd rather just go to the store and buy some stuff because at this point, why am I spending all this money? And then I had to, I had to pay for shipping too. So I pay for shipping too. Um, Nobody gave me my money. And I'm very lucky that I even freaking got the package. Like this whole situation was dumb and I was over it. I was so mad. I spent like over $50 on this. That's including shipping. I paid 50, I think it was like $50 for this. And it was over $50 for the shipping. I think shipping was like $12. I'm like, um, yeah, um, I'm gonna need y'all to get it together. But I'm already, I'm done with them, literally. Like, the customer service experience, it, like, made me so mad. I wrote a review on their Facebook and everything, and, like, people have been saying this continuously. So if you continuously see people saying this stuff, why are you not fixing your customer service is the real question. But whatever. I'm just going to open up. I'm just going to um, show you guys what I got. came in this brown box. My last one was, it had, like... Like, and this looks totally different from what it did. Like, last time it had, like, it had, like, the um, Honey Handmade tape on it and everything. It was kind of pretty. It was, like, a brown box. It was a darker brown box than this one. And this came like this, and it's just, like, taped with, like, clear tape, whatever. And um, I'm just over it at this point. I'm kind of upset. I'm still mad about it. Like, I'm on 12. Like, I'm still mad about it. It's just, like, what it looks like. The company logo it's like honey handmade yeah they give you like all these cards and stuff like what and it like tells you who's like pulled by and stuff like that well y'all y'all about to be pulled by me how about that so what i got was i got a honey healthy hydrating hair mask got a honey Hydrating sealing serum. I got a honey cleanser plus clarifying co-wash. I got a honey cleansing um, Buttermilk shampoo. I got a honey twist plus the fine butter and I got avocado coca moisturizing styling Styling cream so And then it comes with like this thing that like tells you how the pro how to how it works and how to use the products That's nice, but okay. Just over it. This point. So what's on top? This is the this is the avocado and coca moisturizing styling cream. So basically, like, this is like a moisturizing styling cream. You just put it in your hair. Um, mostly, you'll probably um, and it says it fights frizz with cocoa butter styling. That's good, because I'll be having a lot of frizz. So this is like basically like a, like, like a moisturizer that curls and defines. I'm already at nine minutes, so I'm trying to go. So this is the Honey Cleansing Buttermilk Shampoo. And like what I've noticed is like their shampoos are kind of watery. I was kind of like on the fence about getting their shampoo again. I mean, it's good, but it's like weird. It's really watery, but there, I got this one. Um, and here is the honey, the honey hydro, honey health hydration hair mask. Oh, y'all can't even see that. It's a pretty good jar, pretty big jar size. Okay. Uh -huh. What else? Oh, this is in here. 
this is the honey twist plus the fine butter. Look how, okay, look at the ingredient list. It's so small. Like, this is why I like this company, but then again, like, they messed up, so I'm, like, not dealing with it. Look how small that ingredient list is. That's crazy. Oh my god, it's like, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's literally ten items, and I literally know what all of them are. What the heck? Okay. It's distilled water, bee wax, honey, tum uh, oh, honey, honeycomb, uh, castor, coca, Ooh, I don't know what this is. Le linolin, 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 olive fruit, and shea butter. What the heck? That's so like the simplest ingredient list. Like that's why I like them. But nah, I'm not even know what after this is. After that, child, I'm ready to go. And this is the honey cleansing plus clarifying co-wash. It's like a jar too. Um, the ingredient list is literally so small in here. It's distilled water, soap root, soap root, honey, uh, fen fenugreek, yogurt, un unfiltered ACV, apple seed, um, almond, and castor. Bro, what? Why did y'all have to mess up on me? Like, for real, for real. What is this? I got, whoa, what is this? I don't think I ordered this. I feel like they just threw this in, honestly. This is a, um, what, hold on. Oh, this is a Walnut, she Walnut Shea Sealing Serum. I don't know what this is, it's so small. Um, I don't know what it is, it doesn't say. It says multi-hair multi, multi -hair product, kinky, curly, afro, textured, wavy. Um, the ingredient list is so small, but it doesn't really say what it is and what it does. I'm guessing it's a hair oil. I mean, obviously. It's a serum. There's nothing else in here, I don't think. I mean, it shouldn't be. I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six items. Hold on. Hold on. Because we're trying to do the math right here. Oh, here it is. Okay, that's this. The uh, the honey hydrating chilling syrup. This little thing. I don't know what this is. Yeah. But that's what I got from them. Um, I honestly have no doubt that it's going to be pretty good products. But in my personal experience, I'm just not happy with the customer service. And for that, I'm not going to buy anything else from them. Like, it just made me mad all over again. Just the way that they handled this and the way that they didn't communicate what went on and why y'all didn't just give me my money back. They didn't even ship the product yet. So I was like, <clears throat> just give me my money back. Hello. But um, anyways, um, that's all that I got from them. Surprisingly that I even got it in the mail. Pretty annoying, but I mean, things happen. So at least I got my products. I'm gonna stop complaining because I've been complaining about this video, <laughs> but I was the customer, but it's okay. I got my products, but thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm gonna be testing out these products. Um, just check me out on Instagram and Snapchat and you guys will see my thoughts on these products. Maybe I'll make a part two about what I think about the products because basically all of these are part of the honey um, honey collection. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and show your boy some love. Thanks for watching. Bye.